everyone, I'm Alexandra. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna to be attempting two IKEA DIYs using baskets. So I'm creating decor out of baskets from IKEA. Two of my favorite things, IKEA and baskets. How many times can I say IKEA and baskets in the span of five minutes? I haven't had coffee this morning and it's 3 p.m. <laughs> Okay, as a reminder, any DIY I attempt in these videos, I've chosen to do because I feel like they're easy and that anyone can also accomplish them. So if I can do them, you guys can do them too. Let's jump into it. first hack, I wanted to create a coffee table because right now in my living room, I don't have like a round table that I can, you know, even put my dinner on or, you know, just like a glass or two. I've just been using a really small one and I don't know, it's just not working out. I did some Pinteresting, scrolling through Pinterest, and I saw that someone attempted to make a coffee table using one of Ikea's boho baskets. So I was like, I think I can do this. But the problem with the DIY that I came across was that she didn't fix the top to the basket. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to find a solution for that. And she also left the top of the wood unfinished. And I was like, no, I definitely want to paint it white or do some kind of, I don't know, stain on the top. So went to Ikea. This was the lineup for Ikea. Oh my God. But also I bumped in to a couple of viewers at Ikea and it was so fun. I love when I see you guys out and about, but also especially at Ikea because I'm like, yes, we both share this love for Ikea. <laughs> so I picked up this beautiful boho basket. The cost of this basket is $40. Really lovely basket on its own, but this is what I'm gonna be using to create the coffee table. So another thing I picked up was a pre-cut round piece of wood from the hardware store. Originally I was going to buy a piece of wood and then have someone cut it into a circle, but Alana and I happened to find this round piece of wood that quite literally looks like it's made for the top of a coffee table, so I was like, amazing. I think this was $20, so all in all, all the supplies that I needed were around $60 Canadian, which for a coffee table, pretty good. Pretty good. So the first thing I did was pour some white wall paint into a container and then I got a separate container and a jug of water. So what I'm doing for this project is actually doing like a white stain using paint. Really easy, all you need to do is pour some paint into a container, add a little bit of water. If you want it super light, like just like a hint of you know, stain, you obviously want to add less. You can see the consistency this is, it kind of looks like paint soup, like a white paint soup. Anyways, and then all you want to do is take your paintbrush and just start painting it on the wood. Really simple. You can also take a cloth to wipe up the excess just as you would with a normal stain and you get this really lovely wash of white. So it's like barely there, but you know it's there and it just looks really, just looks really nice. I thought that it would look a little more natural than painting the whole thing just a solid white color. So I'm really happy with how the top turned out. And now it's time to take the handles off of my basket. I would recommend using some sort of like tin snips or pliers. I gave both to Carla because she's making a catio. Diego, sweet, what are you looking at, the birds? Little Archie. Hi bud, you like it? Yes you do. Not so bad, huh? So I ended up using garden shears, which, which actually surprisingly worked really well. So the first thing I did was just cut the handles off of the basket using scissors. And then there's actually little tiny nails holding the handles in place. So that's when I used my garden shears. I just snipped through the nails and then pulled them out at the end. So now we have a handleless basket, a handleless a handleless basket. I think that makes sense. <laughs> so then all you want to do is flip your basket over and this is the part where I'm going to adhere the wood top 
to the basket. Now, a couple ways you could do this. I'm using a construction grade hot glue gun and construction grade hot glue, which means that this is meant to bond like wood to wood or metal to metal. It's really heavy duty industrial hot glue. You could also use wood glue, any sort of DIY material that's going to hold the wood in place. So what I did was just put some hot glue right in the middle. You can see there's like a cross on top of the basket. I placed the wood on top, held it down for a bit, and then I just went in and hot glued the gaps between the wood and the basket. Again, like really pressing it down and holding it there so it had a chance to bond. You guys, I was totally skeptical about using hot glue to attach this, but it is so solid. If you're gonna use hot glue, use construction grade glue sticks like I did. Like you don't wanna use a small glue gun, you wanna use the industrial construction grade glue or else it just won't work. But I am obsessed with it. It's exactly, exactly what I was looking for for the space. And I'm just gonna style it. So happy with this piece. It took me like half an hour. It's beautiful. It matches the vibe of my living room and it gives me that much more space. The second IKEA hack is a pendant light because you guys know I'm an avid light enthusiast. Maybe that should be like, if I had like a dating profile, I feel like. <laughs> That would just be my description, like avid light enthusiast. Maybe not. I just feel like I really like lights. Anyways, I found this basket at Ikea, $15. I love it. It's so cute. It has these little scalloped edges. It almost looks like a, like a flower. And I remembered that in my prop loft, I also had this really, really cool pendant light that has these wooden beads on it. At one point, I did have it hanging up in my living room. I'm pretty sure this was $20 from Amazon. I'll link it down below. But yeah, so I thought that I could make a pendant light using these two things. This DIY is so simple, so straightforward. What I did was I took the bulb out of the pendant light and I traced around the top with a marker and then I went in to cut a hole in the bottom of the basket. So this is where the pendant light is going to like rest in basically. I found that this part was a little bit tricky. This basket was much harder to cut than the coffee table basket. So just give it patience. I just looked at where the basket was woven. It was kind of like a cross shape and just snipped and then started snipping around in a circle so that I got a nice hole. And then all you wanna do is put the pendant light in the basket, that's literally it, and hang it up with a cup hook on your ceiling. So easy. Now, I was going to paint these beads white, but then I was like, maybe not because the cord is black. So I just left it natural, but I think you guys can have so much fun with this. You could paint the beads, you could paint the basket. Another hot tip I have is using the company Color Cord, which does custom lighting. So you can build a custom pendant light. You can pick the color of the wire, the color of where the pendant light meets the bulb. I feel like this would be a really great way to make this light super custom. I was kind of bummed out about the black cord, but I didn't really have any way to work around that. So if you guys are gonna do it, I would definitely order a custom cord from the color company. And yeah, I think it would look that much better. I am obsessed with how this light turned out. At first I was like, is this too funky? But I think it's different and it was so easy to make and I can't wait to see if some of you recreate it. If you do, send me a DM on Instagram. I can't wait to see your projects. I hope you guys enjoyed these two DIYs. Really simple, but really fun. And let me know in the comments down below what other IKEA hacks I should do. Should I do like more furniture-based hacks? Should I do art hacks? Like just go for it. Let me know in the comments. And as always, I will see you guys next week. Bye.